Hello everyone. Welcome to Alibaba Cloud Tech Talk series, Scale Up Your Business with Cloud. And today I'm going to talk about the topic of empower your fintech business with cloud native solutions. And I'm going to focus uh, on Forex companies today, specifically in the fintech area. Um, before starting on the presentation, I would just quickly like to uh, introduce myself. So my name is Rohit Kumar. Uh, I'm a lead solution architect here at Alibaba Cloud UK office. I've been working with Alibaba for more than five years and I have worked in China and I have also worked here in the UK and worked with a number of clients in UK, Nordics and Europe region. So now jumping on to the introduction of the topics. Um, first, I'm going to talk about uh, the common challenges of uh, Forex companies. And then I'm going to talk about why uh, it makes sense to work with Alibaba Cloud and uh, what we have uh, on offer in general. And then I'm going to focus on uh, the global networking solutions, uh, which are uh, specifically uh, required for Forex companies to expand globally. And then uh, I'm going to uh, present uh, in the end one case study and uh, various customer scenarios with a uh, with reference architecture. So without much of a delay, let's just move on to the common challenges for Forex companies. So what are those? Uh, the common challenges for Forex companies. So first is uh, global connectivity. So global connectivity is required when uh, you are working uh, in a global scenario for forex trading, for gold, for commodities, for oil, etc. So for such uh, transactions happening across uh, cross-border scenarios, so you need a good connectivity if you have clients all over the world. Then, uh, and more importantly, it needs to be uh, stable and low network connectivity between different places so that your, your users around the world can easily access your services. And now security and privacy, uh, that is another important thing if you are dealing with a regulated industry and specifically with money, uh, but uh, what is happening in the uh, what happens in the case of forex uh, companies so it's very important that all your data is secure your transactions are secure and you follow the local law regulations in terms of uh, uh, privacy as well as uh, uh, stopping your platform to go under attack from entity DDoS or cc attacks or such attacks uh, uh, which can affect uh, your website performance and also cost you a reputation and money uh, in terms of infrastructure, uh, infrastructure is another important uh, challenge when you are dealing uh, in a cross-border scenario. So where do you host your services? And uh, do you host it in all the countries you're operating in? Do you find it based on different geographies? Or do you host it in single place and make it available to different users around the world? And then global expansion. So as and when you start adding your services uh, or providing your services to different countries, then that is where you need to decide uh, where you want to go. Do you have infrastructure there? Do you have services there? So global expansion uh, is not an easy task uh, in, uh, in this uh, competitive uh, uh, world. And also it requires you to have a right amount of infrastructure and services available in the country where you want to expand. And Specifically focusing on two specific service uh, uh, scenarios today is global connectivity and global expansion. So FX trading, uh, it requires stable connection, low latency connection, no packet drops specifically. So in those cases, it is very important that you provide a service where your users, be it in uh, Western world, in US, in Europe, or in Asia, in China, wherever your customers are, you need to have a seamless connectivity. And for that, we have a number of solutions, but in the sort of general uh, uh, availability, we have 110 plus POPs, points of presence, 2,800 plus CDN nodes across 70 countries. And we also offer uh, products like cloud enterprise network, global accelerator services, and VPN services, which I will be uh, uh, covering cloud enterprise network, and global accelerator, and how it can help Forex companies. Uh, in terms of global expansion, so yes, uh, if you want to have network connectivity, if you want to have infrastructure in different places, uh, then we also offer uh, uh, various regions and 
uh, availability zones around the world. We also offer connectivity in and outside China, which is again one of the major challenges for forex companies when we are dealing with uh, Asian countries. And then we also offer have, uh, have Alibaba Group ecosystem where we have our own fi uh, fintech companies. So we can also provide guidance and consultation there. Um, so yes, moving on to why Alibaba Cloud. And in here, I would just cover very high level what Alibaba Cloud offers and how it is compliant. So in the first slide here, so these are uh, the uh, uh, analysis and these are the reports generated by IC, IDC and Gartner, where they have put Alibaba Cloud as number one IaaS and pass provider in China uh, in 2020 and 21 uh, as per IDC. And it is a, by a large margin in, within uh, China. but. More uh, uh, importantly, we are the uh, number one IaaS market shareholder uh, for 2020 as per Gartner in Alibaba, uh, as Alibaba Cloud in the cloud market. So, and uh, we are the third in the world for global IaaS market share uh, behind AWS and Azure. So these are uh, independent ratings and this proves that we have good amount of infrastructure and services. And on top of that, there are a number of other garden reports where they have uh, put us in first place for, for example, for networking solutions and uh, compute solutions or solar solutions. And you can go ahead and have a look at that in the latest reports. Uh, in terms of global footprint, uh, we have 25 global data center regions around the world. Uh, we are the number one market share uh, holder and number one uh, in terms of data center concentration uh, in Asia. Uh, we have 80 availability zones around the world and 2800 plus CD nodes, which I already mentioned. We can handle up to 40 TBPS of BGP bandwidth uh, cap capacity and provide a 99.95% SLA for our network connectivity via a multi-layer backup. So we have a good amount of services uh, all around the world which can help uh, your customers in the West, in the East to connect with each other, uh, to connect uh, to your services with, uh, in, in whatever part of the world it is hosted. Then world-class security and global compliance. So this is also, again, one of the very important thing, specifically, especially uh, if you are working in a regulated industry like Forex or FinTech or financial world. So in terms of global, we adhere to international information security standard. We have PCI DSS, ISO 27001 and such. Uh, and we also uh, have a regional uh, or industry specific uh, uh, certifications, for example, we are compliant with HIPAA, we are compliant with media industry uh, 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 requirements for storage, etc. We are also compliant with industry specific uh, uh, certifications, which can uh, all of these services or all of these uh, privacy and compliance related uh, information can be accessed from Alibaba Cloud Trust Center. And we are also GDPR compliant since May 2018. So this shows us that uh, it's not just that infrastructure and network uh, area where we are, uh, we have a good service, but we are also fully uh, uh, compliant in the regions where we provide our services. Now, moving on to uh, next one is a global networking solution. So this is where I'm just going to talk about how uh, Forex companies uh, uh, can, not a specific, I mean, Forex companies, but how global uh, networking solutions are offered by Alibaba Cloud. And then I'm going to, show how those are implemented or used by uh, forex companies so in this slide we have a cloud enterprise network so what exactly cloud enterprise network does so as the name suggests it create it helps you create an enterprise network and connect to your different maybe data centers offices stores branches etc uh, using a Alibaba cloud backbone network so cloud enterprise network or cen sits at the center of uh, your network and it helps uh, connect you to different places. And it uses the Alibaba Cloud uh, uh, backbone network, which is a multi redundant network uh, with a, uh, 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 three or four lines of connectivity between different uh, Alibaba Cloud data centers. So CN uh, helps you connect to different Alibaba Cloud VPCs in different regions, and it's a private network connectivity. And from there uh, to the last one, you can connect using either VPN gateway or internet or any other third party VPN uh, partners we work with or smart access gateway, which is again uh, uh, a VPN uh, service uh, provided by Alibaba Cloud, which, is, which comes in both flavors as hardware as, as well as software. So 
uh, the way it works is basically if you have, for example, in this diagram, if you have Singapore and you want to connect to uh, US West or you want to connect to Hong Kong or London. So basically you can uh, you connect uh, CEN network uh, between VPC of Singapore and VPC in London and use the Alibaba Cloud back backbone network to connect those. And then in last mile connectivity, you can have the internet connection or you can also use Express Connect, which is a uh, lease line connection, which where we work with partners. Uh, why it is uh, important is uh, basically fast deployment. So it's very uh, easy to deploy. It, you can do it in uh, four steps and within a five minutes, it's just a drag and drop. You create VPCs, you just start dropping them uh, within your <coughs> uh, CEN and then uh, you allocate a bandwidth and that's it. You are connected uh, between different uh, places. Uh, low latency. So. Uh, uh, it's a very low la uh, latency network because it's a private network. It's not going over the internet. And for example, here uh, in the, uh, for connecting Shanghai to Frankfurt or let's say Beijing to uh, Frankfurt region uh, using this private network connectivity, you have a latency of 120 to 130 milliseconds. Reliability, as I mentioned earlier, it's a multi-link uh, redundant network and uh, it also provides you a high availability SLA of 99.95%. Secured environment as, again, okay, it's a virtual lease line uh, sort of environment, uh, uh, environment uh, which provides you network connectivity. So that way your data is secure all the time. And on top of that, uh, you can also, uh, if you want, you can create uh, VPN tunnels. You can work, uh, you can create your own VPN uh, tunnels on top of this network connectivity to have even further level of security without affecting any performance. And, just to highlight, this is a compliant cloud network between mainland China and overseas. So what does that mean is basically, it doesn't have to go through the Chinese firewall and doesn't have to go through the Chinese cross-border internet. And that is why it is able to provide you a reliable and highly available network, which is not affected by the Chinese uh, uh, network congestion uh, created by the firewall. Then uh, very important here is cloud enter enterprise uh, has uh, scaling bandwidth package, and that is how it is charged. So it's just to highlight here that uh, uh, the network bandwidth can be between 2 Mbps to uh, 10 Gbps. And it's up to you. You can decrease or increase it at any point in time during the day, and you are charged based on that. And uh, you can, uh, you don't have to go through the contracts or, uh, or, or such uh, long term, which you actually have to go with the uh, telecom providers with the long term contract agreement. And then, then uh, having the lines take a lot of time. So, uh, this actually helps uh, create your uh, end to end connection in a very uh, scalable, reliable, and uh, fast and efficient manner. Now, as you can see that uh, this lower cost of bandwidth packages are available between mainland China, North America, Asia Pacific, Europe, and Australia. So you can just easily create uh, your CN bandwidth package. And moreover, it is offered in a way that <clears throat> if you uh, purchase it between, let's say, for example, mainland China and Europe. So uh, we have, let's say, uh, uh, two regions within uh, Europe, uh, Frankfurt and London. So you can use the bandwidth you have purchased between any of the uh, uh, data center regions. We have 11 in mainland China and two in Europe, and you can uh, do a cross match using the same bandwidth as and when required, or you can divide your bandwidth and there are no separate charges for that. Now, global accelerator. This is a sort of a platform as a service solution. Uh, what happens in this case is this also uses the Alibaba Cloud uh, backbone network between different data centers. But here, you don't need to uh, worry about configuring your VPCs. You don't need to worry about configuring uh, your uh, uh, CEN and your end to end connectivity. Uh, and what uh, it does is it also uses Alibaba Cloud nearby network access and POPs uh, with CEN. And all you need to do is you need to know your uh, end server or your hosting server IP address or domain name, and you can just accelerate it because all of the uh, uh, setup is taken care by Alibaba Cloud in the backend. So you do your configuration. It also supports HTTPS and TCP uh, connections for your services. So it has it is a highly available service. Again, uh, uh, it, it uses uh, the server load balancers and proxies and endpoints uh, and endpoint groups uh, behind the scene. So, uh, and what you can do is you can just, again, go ahead and purchase GA instance and your bandwidth, how much ever you need. 
and it will help you again connect uh, around the world. So for example, your Chinese users, your website is hosted outside China and your users are in China, Hong Kong, but your services may be hosted in London. And maybe your users are also sitting there out uh, in Australia. So what you can easily do is you can uh, purchase the bandwidth uh, for overseas or for mainland China, and then you can start connecting your users by that. And all of your user traffic then will be directed to the nearby access point, wherever they are, uh, wherever the users are located. For example, again, in China or Australia, and then all of the traffic from those uh, points of presence will directly go using our backbone network to the local VPC or local endpoint group within Alibaba Cloud, for example, in London. And then from there, it can connect to your endpoint servers or your uh, your hosting servers uh, using internet and that way uh, your performance will drastically increase because most of your traffic from uh, far away geography is going through intranet okay so that was more of a highlight of the solution uh, in uh, next i'm going to cover reference architecture and case study uh, with one of our forex uh, clients and I will show how uh, they, uh, what were the challenges they faced and how they sort of used the Alibaba Cloud Service to tackle those challenges. So first, these are some of our uh, customers uh, in the FinTech or Forex industries, and they are using our uh, services uh, within Alibaba Cloud and also CE and et cetera. Um, but uh, one of the clients which is not mentioned here, and I'm going to highlight in our case study is Windsor Brokers. So Windsor Broker, uh, it's a global forex uh, trading and CFD investment company. Uh, it's uh, it was founded in uh, sorry 1998, and the company offers a powerful uh, trading platform uh, for uh, uh, your uh, forex or for your gold, uh, oil, uh, soft commodities, shares, etc. Uh, for the users around the world. So. As the global trading environment is become more globalized, so Windsor Broker uh, saw that I mean, their clients are sitting in different parts of the world and they are going internationally. And it means that they need to provide them services which can provide, uh, which can uh, be hosted in low, uh, low latency environment uh, so that it doesn't affect, uh, for example, their revenue or reputation because a forex company is as good as its services are in terms of latency network. So now, one of the greatest challenges of many forex companies or trading uh, uh, companies face is latency. That when the user is trying to execute a transaction, uh, you see a latency, and by the time uh, they have uh, executed the transaction, the prices have changed. So, product uh, forex traders uh, needs to take place on sort of a global scale, and even in that scenario, uh, five milliseconds uh, uh, delay can actually make or break a major deal. Now, how to, how to tackle these things? Uh, this is where uh, an infrastructure solution and a network solution uh, offered by Alibaba Cloud Enterprise Network and ECS behind instance for MP4 DC servers uh, can help forex companies achieve seamless connectivity around the world. And this is where uh, uh, Windsor Broker uh, reached out to Alibaba Cloud and we worked with them uh, to actually provide a very, very reliable solution. So uh, this is where uh, uh, they started uh, an ambitious project and they have a huge user base in China and Chinese firewall and uh, internet connectivity was affecting their user experiences and also affecting the performance of their website. So to reduce this latency and to reduce this performance uh, uh, bottlenecks, uh, they uh, started with the Europe and China connectivity using our uh, back one network and <clears throat> this helped them uh, reduce their uh, latency from 250 milliseconds over the internet to 120 milliseconds so more than 50 percent uh, increase uh, or you can say decrease in the latency uh, time so uh, it helped it was helped by Alibaba Cloud in the POC and then that is where uh, Windsor Broker decided to go follow on with Alibaba Cloud with China and Asia so now on top of that, Alibaba Cloud has a, uh, one of the largest portfolio of uh, security services. So for example, NDD DOS, WAF, and also services like a security center, et cetera, which can actually tackle, help you tackle uh, security challenges. And that is where uh, Windsor Broker also decided to uh, use our NDD DOS services. 
Uh, our integer services, again, uh, based on our high, uh, highly integrated uh, uh, scrubbing centers around the world and based on AI and machine learning technology, which Alibaba Cloud has developed over the years and has tested within China and also in our uh, uh, Alibaba Cloud ecosystem. Uh, what happens in this Alibaba Cloud Security uh, and DDoS solution is it can help you mitigate uh, sophisticated DDoS attacks and quickly enhance the protection of your website. And you can edit your protection policies on top of the AI and uh, machine learning automatic uh, policy generations. So uh, this help industry effectively uh, lower their operation and maintenance cost as well as ensure the business stability in, uh, in, in events of any attack that might happen. So this is overall a strong platform offered by uh, Alibaba Cloud Binger Broker, which helped uh, them grow their footprints uh, in Asia and specifically in China and secure their operations. Now, I'm going to talk about a reference architecture, uh, which uh, is basically uh, one of the architecture which can uh, be used by Forex companies. Uh, it might not be exactly the same which uh, uh, Windsor Broker uh, used, but I am going to present uh, here quickly two architectures. So first one, uh, global end-to-end -end forex services reference architecture based on global accelerator. So as you can see, uh, for example, your users are uh, sitting in China and your services are hosted maybe in a US for uh, US MT4 DC. And it may be on cloud or it may be your own on premise. So how do you basically help them connect? So first thing, uh, uh, maybe you have a proxy uh, MT4 DC proxy servers in Japan, or maybe in Hong Kong, or maybe you may have it or you may not have it. Basically, we, uh, we will cover both the scenarios. So if you have it, then what you can do is you can use Global Accelerator and Global Accelerator service will provide you Shanghai GA, uh, Global Accelerator IP, Beijing GA IP or uh, Shenzhen uh, GA IP. So all these IP addresses are provided uh, to your services. So that is where you can set these IP address for uh, your Chinese user or for your domain name. So any user who is accessing your service in China will be redirected by nearby access to these uh, GAIPs. And from there, it is uh, the traffic is automatically sent uh, to Japan VPC, where your MD4 DC servers might be, might be hosted. And then uh, next, uh, you, uh, your traffic will be redirected to, uh, uh, to your uh, US4 MD4 DC server over internet. So this is one approach. And this is where you don't have to do much of the work because uh, you are uh, already configuring just your uh, IP address or uh, endpoint server domain name, which is US4 MT4, uh, US MT4 DC, and the traffic is already redirect. You can also put anti DDoS services in front of that, and which most of the forex companies who use solution does it to secure their environment. Now, this helps you uh, uh, tackle the issue of uh, uh, network demands, which can be high and low at different times for your uh, uh, for your services. So this helps you ensure a superior level of performance, regardless of any network demand. Now, this solution helps for us businesses uh, that, de that haven't deployed MT4 DC servers overseas. For example, your main services are in, uh, uh, in, uh, in US, but you have not uh, deployed, it, for example, in Japan, in China, everywhere. So that is where you just don't have to change anything from your uh, existing architecture, you don't have to replicate and you can use it. Now, this is uh, how they can uh, increase uh, I mean, the forest companies have been able to tackle the network demand challenges. Now, the next one is end-to-end -end forest services reference architecture too. So this could be another one. Uh, this is, for example, you do have uh, your uh, MD4 DC servers in US, you may have also in London, and you may also have it actually, if you want, uh, you can deploy it in China. It's not highlighted here. Maybe you don't have ICP filing or uh, uh, the regulation requirement in China, but you still want to provide services in China. So that is where you can use Cloud Enterprise Network to make it even more highly available. The difference between the last uh, one and this one is that in in the case of uh, uh, GA, you need to purchase GA IP or GA instances for each of your uh, uh, domain name, for each of your services. Uh, and you need to purchase separate bandwidths for each of those cases. 
Uh, if you have single uh, domain or single services, GA uh, works real well yeah, as it works for two, three services also. But for example, if you want to use uh, uh, the backbone network to improve the performance of your overall, not just your overall uh, MD4 DC services, but also if you want to use uh, uh, your employee to connect and uh, uh, check documents around your offices. So you can use the same, uh, this CA network solution as, as you can uh, divide the bandwidth easily. So here you can have a number of uh, domain names and IP addresses, which can easily help you uh, connect using uh, NGX and HAProxy, NGNX or HAProxy uh, services. Uh, hosted in Shanghai VPC, and uh, you can ho uh, host those VPC uh, proxy servers behind a server load balancer. And uh, using the CN connectivity, you can connect directly to your London VPC where MT4 DC servers are hosted. And again, uh, you can also put an NTD DOS server in front of your SLB to guard your uh, services and uh, uh, provide uh, traffic, uh, uh, clean traffic to your SLB and your. Uh, proxy servers. So that way, what you are doing is basically you are securing your uh, services and also providing, uh, providing your or improving your network performance using the backbone network as the traffic is mostly flowing through the internet. Now, of course, there is nothing stopping you from <clears throat> connecting your uh, services directly from uh, your uh, uh, Shanghai uh, HA proxy servers to your U US uh, MT4 DC uh, servers directly. But most of the cases, the implementation is done in a manner that your proxy MT4 uh, DC servers are hosted in some other geographies and you have one single uh, backend MT4 DC server. So, that is pretty much it from me to just show you and uh, uh, how reference architectures look like, how Windsor Broker used our services and how many other Forex companies have been using our services, specifically in global networking solutions and in terms of security. So I hope this uh, session was useful. I tried to uh, cover uh, mainly uh, two, three things which can help Forex companies uh, provide their services in any geography using our uh, infrastructure and network services. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.